Binge watch and learn on TRS Clips. This whole thing that Elon Musk keeps saying about how eventually human civilization has to leave Earth and move on to other planets and become intergalactic and all that. Is that just a science fiction angle? Or do you also agree as an astrophysicist based on the climate change that we see on Earth today? See, uh, I, I don't know where we are heading to but unless we have, we have to have clear uh, controls and things like that because we are seeing the impact of uh, climate change, a very drastic um, impact is going on right now. But leaving totally Earth, I'm not sure, but then definitely a uh, possibility of, uh, you know, habit, uh, um, getting to other planets and making uh, living possible there is definitely possible in the next uh, maybe 20, 30 years kind of a thing. Ooh. But after that, I do not know. You say 20, 30 years and I've gotten to know you now, ma'am. And everything that you say with surety <laughs> is with science as a base. Yes, yes. So when you're saying 20, 30 years, <laughs> it's... It should be definitely possible because we are already uh, uh, in an uh, international space station for so, so such a long time. So we should be able to uh, take and with the moon mission, so many of the moon missions coming out now, technology rapidly uh, advancing. It should be definitely possible to at least uh, humans going to Mars, etc. But then um, colonizing that will take time and then the, it will depend on the expansion or rather the um, mobility factor and then how much we can we are able to spend money on it, etc. Et because cost is a prohibitive factor. Yeah, but it is, it's not, I mean, if you, even if you look at five years back, it's not the way in, uh, now, right? We have actually caught up with a lot of uh, uh, technology and things. We can actually do it. So yeah. it, it should be possible in two, a couple of decades. You know, this whole space travel thing, like Jeff Bezos is starting a space travel company, mm -hmm. Virgin Galactic, mm -hmm. Elon Correct. Musk. Correct. It scares me. I don't know if I would want... I, I mean, I obviously want that experience of going through space, but it's it just scares me a little bit. Like, have you seen Gravity, the movie? Yeah, yeah. It's this one of the yeah. most uncomfortable, beautiful, but uncomfortable yeah. movies that I've ever seen in my life. And I highly recommend Gravity to everyone who's not seen it. It's about astronauts who get lost in space yeah. and how they figure out yeah, how to, how like, to come, come back, back to it. Yes, yeah. It's the most uncomfortable movie you'll watch and you'll feel like you're in space while you watch that movie. But anyway... Yeah. Like, does it scare you? Like, if no, you would go for a... It is not very high, actually. It is not... <laughs> I mean, the kind of distances you talk about, it is not very high. You actually look at, go, go to about 80 kilometers, 100 kilometers thing of thing, and then come back. International Space Station is 300 kilometers, 300, 350 kilometers. So, it's not it's not much, and it should be doable. I mean, right now, we have, we have already seen multiple agencies doing it, so... Would you go? Yes, but you need to be fit enough and go through all these things too. Uh, I, I hope. I mean, if I get a chance, definitely I would go and come. Why? Back, sir. It's an experience to see the earth from above, which you have not uh, seen. And that's that's a completely different experience. So uh, terrestrial, there are experiences like, you know, the other experience will be to go down the ocean. That's also actually equally uh, like that Titanic uh, yeah. <laughs> submarine. No, no, it's quite quite a deep in there. Yeah. So Titanic submarine style stories scare me away from like this whole Elon Musk oh, okay, space okay, travel thing. Okay, like, okay, what yeah, if something, no, no, goes, something wrong goes wrong up yeah, there? Yeah, that's right. No, no, no. The technology right now, like you know, air travel. You know, earlier, just going by uh, airplanes was not that safe, right? But now it's not that you have too many. Uh, everybody, anybody can fly now. So it's it's not only really about affordability; it's also about uh, safety, technology, technology, and we have achieved it. So this should also be possible in um, uh, in a decade or so. It's, it should be definitely possible. Yeah. When you're saying and this safe. whole thing about colonizing the moon, I'm assuming that the moon is the first stop that people are looking at for no. colonization. Colonization, more than that, it's a it's a resource center, not like a colonization. Colonization probably Mars is a better place Ooh, than. Really? Then uh, uh, gravity is there better and then uh, uh, it's slightly better to land, easier to land in Mars than in Moon. Moon is a resource center basically, not like a, uh, yeah, colony, colony. Yeah, that's wow. what I think, yes. Wow. Okay, because again, gravity, all that, it's too different from Earth. It's a resource, yeah. At the end of the day, we have a human body that we're limited by. Mm, yeah. So Mars is better for colonization than... 
how do you begin to colonize mars i know elon musk on one joe rogan mm-hmm. podcast he said that you basically just heat up a planet <laughs> that's how <laughs> that's how that's what terraforming is like when you're trying to establish a yes, city yes. just you heat up a planet it, yes. but it's difficult to heat up a whole planet yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, right. so you have to do piece by piece <laughs> that's that's the effective science right um yeah so you need to have uh, a heat up as well as you need to have enough uh, the required uh, gases so to start the whole thing yeah oxygen yeah so you'll have to figure a way to create oxygen nitrogen all that on yes. that planet yes yes but then why are you saying we're 20 30 years away no no so one for first thing is that you uh, space uh, though the technology is uh, ramping up quite fast the uh, each mission time scale is a bit um, uh, takes time because you once you have done it you can probably go very first time you need to make sure that everything is tested properly and you know the way you do it properly and then once you execute it now you can do it because you know what you have done correctly so then you can replicate it faster but then the first time it takes much longer and safety because when you are uh, taking human beings and it has the safety is of paramount in, uh, importance there so that uh, conditions have to be met so the first time it will take time but then once you do like you know the kind of experiments like why now we landed on the moon but then we also try to hop mm so uh, you have to keep keep multiple do, doing multiple things like you now the artemis series of missions which are going they will do a huge number of experiments down the line right so there then the humans actually going there will take place in a couple of years time so that to the moon back to the moon now mars so many rovers are there on the moon, uh, mars surface already so now you have actually known multiple things and you have mapped the surface and understanding of where exactly what is the material and things like that a lot of data has come come already so that will be the uh, layer on which we are standing on that particular foundation and trying to figure out what can be done next okay yeah so it's a step by step procedure step by step process, yes. lot of experiments getting yes. data getting the soil Get, getting um, understanding of what it is what can be done how it can be done where it can be done all this have to be answered first before you actually do it so there's no way you can visualize a colony of human beings right now we don't know whether we'll live mm-hmm. inside a dome on mars or we'll actually terraform the full planet um no we'll have to do a little bit and test it out and figure out how to do that so but a, a lot of ideas yeah a <laughs> yeah. dome is yeah, like small likely areas, likely to be yeah smaller area to begin with i do not know i'm just i am also running my ideas okay. imagination wild Okay. Yeah. No, right. that's what TRS yeah, is yeah. about, ma'am. <laughs> right. How do you get that bigger glass enclosure up in Mars? <laughs> it may not be glass. I do not know. So it may not be glass. Yeah, yeah. So we have to figure out an inflatable thing, and also, Ooh. yeah, I, I, I mean, you have to take it out there, right? Glass carrying glass and putting it there. Damn. I do not know. So we'll have to have a. Some amount of greenhouse effect to make sure that things grow inside. Yeah. You know what scares me about inflatable? Yeah. Some kid goes and this like stabs, <laughs> <laughs> and the whole thing collapses. Yes, Everyone yes, dies yeah, on yeah, Mars. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know, but you have to different uh, material which you can actually transport and then actually set it up there and things like that. I think you have to. Oh, there are a lot of material research also goes on, so uh, we'll figure it out. I, what I'm saying is that the the required technology, the required ideas, the required. material um, how you make that they're all uh, maturing mm. so as i said if you want to do something there are ma- multiple things we need to mature uh, simultaneously to actually achieve it and that is actually maturing so that is why i'm saying it is possible so trs clips has all sorts of videos and all sorts of playlists make sure you explore the channel by subscribing and heading to our home page reading through all the playlists